StreamYard allows you to loop videos in the studio and edit the names of previous live streams in StreamYard video library. Every service, platform, utility, or equipment has functions and features. The difference between familiarity and mastery is not only knowing those functions and features, but where, when, why, and how best to use them. Let's take a look at these two small but high impact features from StreamYard. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach, and on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today, we're looking at video names and looping videos in StreamYard. Let's dive in. So here we are on the desktop looking at StreamYard.com in the broadcast screen. And the well, first thing we're going to take a look at is editing previous live streams, editing the names of previous live streams. We're going to go through a couple of things here. But when you are done with uh, your broadcast, you can go to this past tab. You can see all your past broadcasts in this tab here. But the video library is actually over here on the left side of the screen called videos. So we click on that, you can see the videos are all here. And these three dots right here, I'm gonna highlight that, zoom in on it. These three dots on any one of these videos brings up a number of options. The top option, which is new, has recently been added is edit title. Um, and so you can come in here, edit the title. Listen, there's so many different ways and reasons why this may be useful. Um, I know that I embed some of these videos on um, on my website and on in other places. So having uh, the ability to change the title so that what is embedded actually uh, reflects what I want people to experience in this replay format or in this clip format um, that actually does help me. So the ability to edit these titles is good. Let's be clear. Sometimes having a title for live right and getting audience for the live show is a slightly different strategy for getting an audience for the replay or on your website where you have this embedded so being able to edit these titles after the fact is good so you know again one of those things that we, they have added here for us and we can see that change um, again you can click these three dots and edit title is here you'll also see here the embed and share you can also reschedule the broadcast, several different options here, but the one that's new, the one that we're highlighting in this video is the ability, the ability to edit the title. Uh, back on the broadcast screen, if we go back to that past tab, an additional way, of course, is hitting this, these three buttons. You have some options here, but you do not have the ability to edit the title. Title edit feature is only in the video library. If you go to videos on the left side of your screen, any one of these three buttons is gonna give you the ability to edit the title. So keep that in mind. First of the two features that we're looking at today is the ability to edit the titles of previously live broadcasts. This is that. Now, let's take a look at looped videos. So now we're back in StreamYard, but now in the studio this time, um, showing you the the back behind the scenes shot. Uh, one of my favorite shots in the studio here using the webcam Logitech C920. But yeah, this is this is what we have here set up. And what I've done simply is logged in, added my video to the screen. And now I've opened up the brand tab. So we're here brand tab. I don't know if you have a stream deck shortcut for that. Uh, we have that in the brand tab. And then this uh, what I've done is once I've gotten to the lot brand tab, I've gone all the way down to where my videos are. So underneath all my graphics, all my overlays, you have video clips. And in this video clip section, you, you can see what the max file size is there. It's 200 meg, 10 minute video length. MP4 file is the format, and they also tell you the recommended size 1280 by 720. But right below where it says video clips, right? Right below where it says video clips, we now have something that says a loop. You see this loop here. And of course, we hover over it, it says enable loop to repeat video clips. I'm just gonna pause here and say, StreamYard, if you're listening, I would love a Stream Deck, well, I would love a hotkey for the loop 
button. I'd love a hotkey for the loop button. And I'll explain that a little bit more as we get into this feature. So the loop feature, as it says, enable loop to repeat video clips. Now, I wanna start with the negative <laughs> because some people, this is not gonna be intuitive for you. If you check this box, videos will play on repeat. I'm gonna play a video and this video see the progress bar here this is a 48 second video you can see this progress bar on the bottom another semi you know recent feature that they have added is you have this progress bar you also have the time counter um, counting down here kind of see that kind of see that there you can see that count time counter counting down so we're 22 seconds the, the issue or the negative side is if you have this checked and you are unaware that it's checked your video will loop. So you as the producer, whether you're self-produced or you have a producer for yourself, you're gonna make, you gotta make sure you know that this is checked or unchecked. And if I uncheck it while it's while the video's playing, it will not loop. If I check it while the video's playing, you see that it has just played that video again. So let's try this again with a slightly shorter video. Here's my merch uh, video and you can see that running through there and I'm going to check this loop box and it it just plays that video again and if I just want to play it once just un you uncheck that button and you'll see now as soon as it comes to the end bam we're back on screen and that's how you would utilize this feature check the box when you want it to loop uncheck the box when you want it to stop don't necessarily need to stop the video but you check the box so that when the video finishes, that video will stop playing and come back to you. So let's walk this process through. If I want, if I want to take a break, let's say, I'm gonna take a break real quick and I've got this, this little 20 second video here in the system for uh, a client project. Um, this was a live uh, show, uh, uh, it was a live event, hybrid event I should say, we streamed it um to a live audience online but there was also a live audience in person and so in between each speaker we had this little 20 second loop going for the entire time so that you know we, we had something up for the live audience online to watch so the process is simply this step one play the video step two check this box now the entire time let's say it was two to three minutes Maybe I'll put up a ticker at the bottom that says, we'll be right back. Go ahead and take a bio break. Go ahead and stretch your legs. Uh, next speaker coming up. We can type all of that into a ticker that'll run across the bottom. But this video will continue to loop. And you can see that it's already looped once now. Now, let's pretend a couple minutes have transpired. The next thing to do is not to click the video down here to stop it from playing. The next thing to do is uncheck the box so I uncheck that box once I know this next speaker is ready and bam we're back at that speaker and that's how you utilize this feature um, several use cases that you can use for this the one that I just mentioned is the most common but another that people are using it for is for animated graphics that we were um, using gifs for and uploading them into the overlays section you can now export those as mp4 files um, very short, maybe a couple of seconds. Um, the, the whole idea of the GIF is that it's one movement that it's playing over and over that's inherent in the GIF or GIF file. Well, if you just take that one movement, maybe it's two to three seconds, eight seconds, 10 seconds, maybe whatever it is, you can take that one movement, just one of those movements, create a video of it and allow it to play as a video. But when you do play it, you simply check the loot box. So several other functions and features that you can um, use this for, uh, several use cases what I should say that you can see this um, impacting your live stream and the way you run your live show in StreamYard. Two small but powerful features. Looped videos also means that you can import higher quality video files to StreamYard and still meet the size requirement by making it shorter and using the loop feature to play it for however long you need to during your live show. Master StreamYard by learning how best to use its functions and features in these videos.